There are a few improvements you can make to any early 289, 302, or 351 Windsor uh, block if you're interested. And they center around uh, primarily um, improving oil return from the top end and reducing the likelihood of uh, loss of oil pressure related to a galley plug uh, coming out. So I'm going to show you what I do on pretty much every small block Ford that I, I work on. Uh, so at the forward and aft end of the block, you'll find three plugs here, here, and here. And uh, it's not uncommon to find them threaded on the back of the engine, although you may or may not. Um, it, they're almost never threaded on the front of the engine. They'll almost always be um, press-in plugs, just like the cam plug is here. And so you can tap these holes for a threaded plug. You don't have to drill at all. Um, you can simply get a pipe thread uh, tap and go ahead and thread uh, the holes in the back if they're not already and certainly in the front. Um, the problem of the galley plugs coming out was such uh, a such a common one and such a uh, problematic one uh, as a manufacturer that Ford actually designed a retainer, a camshaft retainer that had a big uh, set of tabs on it uh, just for holding those plugs in place and making sure that they didn't pop out. Uh, but uh, drilling and tapping them is a great way uh, to uh, eliminate that as a source of concern. Another thing you can do is increase the diameter of the oil drain back holes. Uh, there's a hole here and there's a hole here. And these are the holes where the oil from the cylinder head, uh, the oil gets up to the cylinder head through the push rods, uh, spills over the rockers and down over the springs, and ends up collecting in the bottom uh, of the cylinder head in sort of a tray that allows the oil to return uh, forward and aft. And it goes through these two holes to drain down back into the oil pan. Um, this hole on a stock block is uh, right about 7 sixteenths of an inch in diameter. And you can open that up to a full half inch diameter without risk of compromise to the strength of the casting. Um, so don't do it if you're hesitant in any way whatsoever. You can ask a machine shop to do it. Uh, but these two holes, these oil drain back holes, um, can be uh, open up to half an inch. Um, the forward one on the passenger side, uh, so adjacent to number one cylinder, is at quite a shallow angle. Uh, both of the front ones are, are at a shallow angle. The oil that drains back from the heads uh, actually drips down uh, into the, uh, the area where the uh, gear for the uh, uh, camshaft and, and distributor meet and, and it's open in the front so a lot of that spills down onto your timing set as well. Um, but all four of these holes can be opened up to half an inch allowing the oil to drain back better. Uh, I'm running on this engine a set of AFR uh, Renegade cylinder heads. Um, they're well known for uh, puddling oil in the top. Uh, AFR themselves uh, strongly recommend that you do not run a high volume oil pump uh, if you're running their AFR Renegade heads uh, because the pump is really good at pumping the oil up to the head, uh, much more oil than you would ever need. Uh, but uh, due to uh, the design of their casting and, and uh, the, the, the the way they've had to shape it in order to increase the size of the valves and ports, um, it doesn't drain back as well uh, as uh, or well enough to uh, work with a high volume oil pump. So I've got a stock oil pump uh, on this particular engine and I've increased the diameter of the oil passages to help uh, promote um, oil draining from the top end back down to the bottom. A couple other things you can help uh, you can do to help 
uh, with that. Uh, in the back corner of the block on either side is an oil drain back hole. This drain back hole sits uh, quite high off of the bottom of the litter valley, uh, a little more than a quarter inch on either side. And so what you can do is take a grinder and blend this area so that uh, the opening of the oil return passage um, is uh, radiused and smooth from the surface of the lifter valley, allowing oil that collects back here to drain down uh, into the uh, oil pan easier as well. And then in the front, you'll see a hole in the block here. Uh, this leads into the timing gear area where the timing gear on the camshaft meets the timing gear on the distributor. And same thing, the bottom of this hole, uh, the casting boss is about a quarter inch off of the base of the lifter valley. So oil would have to puddle in here substantially before it could run out through the front here. Um, and so you can grind this area down, creating an easy path for oil in the lifter area to run forward uh, and drain down this way. Uh, with these modifications, there's only one uh, real area where you've got to be uh, careful. Uh, besides, of course, making sure that if you're going to run a drill down through these things, that that drill is straight. Uh, if you don't have a way to do it with a, with a drill press, um, find some way to make sure that your drill bit is straight when you go down through these holes. The other thing is when you are uh, drilling and tapping, or I'm sorry, not drilling, uh, but tapping the... Um, oil galley plugs. The forward one, it's, it's blurry. I'm trying to get the camera to focus in here. Um, hopefully that's got it. The uh, oil galley plug for this particular bank of lifters um, is quite far back because of the casting area here where the distributor goes down. So the one for this side and the one for the, for the crank uh, shaft, the main bearing oiling, are quite a bit further forward than this one in particular is. And so when you uh, decide you want to thread this one uh, for a threaded plug or a pipe thread plug, you've got to tap it all the way into this lifter bore in order to get the threads back far enough for a plug to thread in there sufficiently. And so that's going to leave a little bit of a burr in this lifter bore. And so you're going to have to remove that burr. Um, and uh, an easy way to do that is uh, you can um, hit it with a little, uh, a little stone or some emery cloth and crocus cloth. Um, and then when you get it close and you think it's close, uh, before you put your good lifters in there, take an old lifter and stick it down in there. That'll let you know if you still got a burr that's gonna catch on anything. That way you don't risk uh, damaging your new lifters. Um, but make sure you get that burr out of there and get that as smooth as you possibly can before you go uh, stick a lifter in there. So. Uh, increasing the diameter of the oil drain back holes and putting threaded plugs in all the oil galley passages and then opening up the oil return passages in the lifter valley are a few of the ways that you can help in, in, uh, improve the uh, return of top end oil flow um, on your early 289 or 302. The threaded plugs won't won't help with the return, but it'll also it will definitely keep them from from blowing out and uh, the uh, loss of pressure that's associated with that.